Hi there. It's Chad again, from ThaiRomances.com. Koh Samui is the largest island in the Gulf of Thailand, followed by its two smaller sisters, Koh Pangan and Koh Tao. Diving, snorkeling, swimming, and basking on the picturesque jungle-backed beaches are popular things to do here. As well as boat tours around the sublime seascape of Ang Thong National Marine Park. Because Koh Samui is the only one of the islands with an airport, most tourists arriving from Bangkok or abroad, land here. Regular ferries run between all three islands, however and for example, the trip between Koh Samui and Koh Pongan takes only half an hour, making it easy to island hop and see all the sights. For ideas on how to spend your time, here's our list of things to do in Koh Samui. Note, some businesses may be temporarily closed due to recent global health and safety issues. Sunbathe and swim at Koh Samui beaches. Koh Samui's beaches provide variety and serenity in equal parts. Chawing Beach is one of the most popular on the island, and the most developed. It's home to luxury resorts like Vanabel, and Anantaro Lawana Koh Samui Resort. Chawing Noi, to the south, is one of the top-rated beaches in Thailand. On the less developed southeast coast, lies Liam Set Beach. This peaceful, palm-fringed slice of paradise has a beautiful coral garden off the coast, and unusual rock formations. To catch the sunset, head northwest of Phung Ka Beach for a spectacular view. At La Mai Beach, Koh Samui's second largest resort area, look for the distinctive rock formations. You can stay right on the beach here at the 4-star Rockies Boutique Resort, or go with 5-star Banyan Tree Samui, for sumptuous villas overlooking the bay. Northeast of there, Silver Beach is a picturesque, palm-lined cove, flanked by smooth granite boulders, with great snorkeling in the calm bay. On the north side of the island, peaceful Minam Beach offers views of Koh Pangan. You'll find an appealing range of accommodations here, from affordable backpacker bungalows, to mid-range boutique hotels, like Code, and five-star resorts, like the Santiburi Koh Samui and the W Koh Samui. Take a boat to Koh Pangan. Just a stone's throw away is Koh Pangan, the second largest of the three islands, and one of the most popular day trips from Koh Samui. Koh Pangan's coast is more rugged than Koh Samui, with huge granite rocks and jungle-cloaked mountains, rising behind the beaches. Most of the development clusters along the south and west coasts. Unlike the many wide stretches of flat beach along Koh Samui, Koh Pangan's coastline tends to scallop into sheltered coves, flanked by outcroppings of granite and backed by lush hills. On the island's relatively quiet east coast, Thong Nai Pan Noi and Thong Nai Pan Yai are among the most popular beaches, Noi in particular tends to be cleaner, and has plenty of food stalls. Accommodation options here range from budget resorts, to the five-star Anantara Rasananda Koh Pongan Villas and the four-star Buri Raza Koh Pongan. On the island's northwest coast, Hod Yao, Hat Salad, or Salad Beach, and Hod Sun, also known as Secret Beach, are great options, with decent snorkeling a short kick from shore. Accommodation options here are mainly budget and mid-range resorts. To the south, Hod Jiao Fao provides a perfect balance of comfort and quiet, with several good restaurants and small seaside bungalow resorts, like Seaflower Bungalows. It's easy to find transportation to other parts of the island, but quiet enough that you feel you have a little piece of Pongan, almost, to yourself. For a truly secluded experience, Bottle Beach, or Hat Quad, on the island's north coast is an excellent choice, but it's best accessed by a longtail boat. Accommodation here is fairly basic though. Tourang Thong National Marine Park Both Koh Samui and Koh Pongan are part of this breathtaking archipelago, of 42 islands. If you take only one tour while you're on vacation in this area, make it a sightseeing tour around Ang Thong. Many tour companies offer one-day packages, and you can arrange these through your hotel or guest house. Most include a boat tour through the islands, with stops for snorkeling, kayaking, and hiking to viewpoints, where you can admire this amazing island chain. Limited accommodation is available in the park, so plan your time well, if you want to return to the main islands for the night. Be sure to keep your camera handy, and find a spot above deck, because you won't want to miss the breathtaking photo ops. Hop over to Koh Tao for diving and snorkeling. From the air, Koh Tao, the smallest of the three islands, looks like mounds of granite boulders, cloaked in green, drifting on a jade green sea, and linked by dazzling sweeps of white sand beach. Diving is the most popular thing to do here. Colorful coral reefs lace the clear waters, that are home to some of the best diving spots in Southeast Asia. Vast schools of fish, Brightly colored sea anemones, stingrays, and even whale sharks are among the sea creatures spotted here, and the island is a popular and relatively affordable place to obtain scuba diving certification. 
Though it's certainly no off the beaten path destination, Po Tau typically has less tourists than both Samui and Pongan. Accommodation consists mainly of villas and bungalows that peek out from the jungly slopes, with breathtaking views of the bay, like monkey flower villas and the place luxury boutique villas. Head to Sail Rock for even more diving. Experienced divers will want to check out this popular diving site, between Koh Tao and Koh Pangan, marked by a huge limestone rock jutting 10 meters out of the water. This famous wall dive, with a maximum depth of about 40 meters, is known for being one of the best areas in Thailand for swimming, with a range of exotic fish, and even whale sharks if you're lucky. You can also see giant black coral, moray eels, and large schools of fish, such as batfish, snapper, and trevally. Another feature is the vertical chimney swim-through. While popular with experienced divers, Sail Rock is actually suitable for all levels of divers, depending on conditions. Discover the secret Buddha Garden. Set at the top of Palm Mountain, one of the highest hills in Koh Samui, the secret Buddha Garden, also known as the Tarnam Magic Garden, is a sculpture park worth a visit. Getting here requires a long and somewhat difficult climb though, so be prepared for it. The entire garden was the beloved project of Kun Nim, a retired farmer, who worked on it for 14 years until his death at the age of 91. He originally envisioned the place as an oasis to meditate and relax in solitude, but also as his final resting place one day. Over the years however, he also added little houses, with roofs covered in vegetation that traveling monks could use as a place to rest or meditate. The final result is a magical place full of enclaves, fountains, and sculptures, including many Buddha statues in different poses, but also animals, angels, and musicians. There are even a couple of sculptures representing his parents, grandparents, and himself as a child. A short walk away, on a staircase path surrounded by a lush flowering garden, Nim's tomb offers the final piece he so eagerly wanted. Explore the Prayai Temple Complex. A somewhat majestic, somewhat overwhelming mix of reds and golds, this Buddhist temple is located in Koh Phan, less than 3 kilometers offshore from Koh Samui. Home to a massive 12-meter-high gold Buddha statue at the top of a staircase, Prayai, also known as the Big Buddha Temple, is one of the most popular temples in Koh Samui, and a massive attraction for tourists year-round. Aside from the main Buddha statue, there are also smaller statues here, as well as a collection of bells on the grounds of the temple. Visitors who arrive in the early morning will be able to see local monks, during their daily prayers. After a walk around the grounds, you can pick up some food or Buddhist statues and meditation supplies to take with you. Nearby Ang Thong National Marine Park and Wat Ply Lem are also worth a visit, while you're here. Stop by Wat Ply Lem. Wat Ply Lem is a Buddhist temple dedicated not to Buddha, but to Guan Yin, or Quan Yin, the Chinese goddess of compassion and mercy. Although the temple is relatively new, it's been decorated using ancient techniques and murals. Guan Yin herself is depicted in her ancient form, as a massive golden white statue with 18 arms. She's sitting on a platform pavilion decorated with a large dragon, who is said to be able to carry the goddess to aid shipwrecked sailors. From here, she watches over the temple, and a pond filled with fish. Visitors who make a donation to the temple can grab a small bag of fish food in exchange. On the other side of the temple complex, a giant laughing Buddha holding prayer beads, presides over the ordination hall. Go kayaking in Koh Tain. Koh Tain, or Coral Island, is located just 5 kilometers off the coast of Koh Samui. Technically part of the main archipelago, Koh Tain is only accessible by boat, and rarely visited by tourists, despite offering stunning coral reefs, great mountain biking trails, and a unique mangrove forest buzzing with local fauna. The island is also home to many monitor lizards, which can reach a size of up to 2.5 meters long, and a number of simple bungalows that can be rented for overnight stays. Although Koh Tain has less than 50 permanent residents year-round, a number of companies offer day tours to the island, for kayaking and snorkeling. Because of its location among other small archipelagos, the waters of Koh Tain are soft and calm, and perfect for kayaking along the coastline. Eat and shop at Fisherman's Village in Bafit. On the island's north coast, Bafit Beach is right by the old Fisherman's Village, with its Chinese shop houses, funky boutiques, and popular night market. The Fisherman's Village walking street comes alive every Friday at 5 p.m. Its sidewalks are crammed with stalls, food vendors, and street performers. While many night markets in Thailand focus mainly on cheap souvenirs and street food, Bafit offers a unique range of handicrafts, high-quality handmade jewelry, high-quality textiles, and even local spices and snacks. Aside from shopping, this is a great place for local dining, both sitting down cafes or food stalls, where you can pick up a quick bowl of som tam or pad thai, to savor while you keep walking and exploring.
Keep your eyes open for performances too. Once you reach the junction near the pier, traditional Thai dancers and Muay Thai fighters often put on short shows that are full of color and charm. Go rock climbing at Chawang and Lamai beaches. The stretch of coast near Koh Samui's most developed beaches has become a popular climbing and bouldering spot. With limestone walls up to 40 meters high, and the promise of stunning views of the island scenery from the top, both Chaoeng and Lamai beaches offer great hot spots for rappelling and climbing. There are suitable routes here for both beginners and advanced climbers. Nearby Koh Tao Island also has plenty of granite blocks, ideal for bouldering. It's also possible to rock climb farther inland, but since much of the inland mountains can only be reached after a jungle trek, this option is best for experienced outdoor enthusiasts, or those joining an organized climbing group. Day tours can be organized if you're a beginner, or just want some help conquering the rocky formations. Trek to see some waterfalls. There's a lot more to Koh Samui than white sandy beaches. Just venture inland and away from the turquoise waters, and you'll discover a jungle paradise that's equally enchanting. If you're up for a slightly steamy but fascinating trek through a tropical forest, set off to find Koh Samui's three major waterfalls. Nam Wong 1 and Nam Wong 2, or the Purple Waterfalls, are located inside a park of the same name, which can be accessed by car. Nam Wong 1 is close to the park's parking lot, and easily accessible on foot. Nam Wong 2 requires a steep but short trek uphill, from the first waterfall. The first waterfall is the biggest and offers a small pool, perfect to cool down or for a swim. Another waterfall worth a visit is Kunsi Waterfall. Located just a few minutes away from Kunsi viewpoint over Chaoang Beach, this waterfall is smaller and harder to find, but that means smaller crowds, and if you come in the morning, there's a great chance you'll have the waterfall all to yourself. Surrounded by thick lush jungle, this waterfall makes for a refreshing stop before you continue on to other attractions. And do please let me know in the comments what you think of what's available to you in Koh Samui. And remember, if you're a single guy looking for some Thai companionship while you're in Koh Samui, you really must check out ThaiRomances.com. There's a link in the description.